what's going on guys lifting Gonzalez here back with another pokemon go video and in today's video guys we are talking about a raid event coming next month in july so from july 8th to july 13th at 10 a.m local time inbound from ultra space this raid event will be taking place this event will give you guys early access to the ultra beast raid bosses because do remember guys at the global go fest event which is taking place i believe on july 13th and july 14th all of these five star raid bosses will be featured no matter where you live neolego buzzwool Feramosa, zergatree celesteela kartana guzzlord and necrozma some of these are region locked raid bosses but i don't think they will be region locked during the go fest weekend but during this inbound from ultra space event they will be region locked so let's get into it guys the first day of the event july 8th guzzlord will be in raids and every single day of this event that specific raid boss will be getting a raid hour from 6 p.m to 7 p.m local time on that given day so again on that monday july 8th guzzlord will be in five star raids for all players and it will be getting a raid hour at 6 p.m on that monday too the day after july 9th neil lego will be the featured raid boss and that will be getting a raid hour too at 6 p.m local time and then the day after on july 10th this is where we have some region locked raid bosses celesteela for the southern hemisphere kartana for the northern hemisphere on july 10th will be getting a raid hour too at 6 p.m five star raids on july 11th will be sakataka blacephalon again region locked to eastern and western hemisphere getting a raid hour too of course and on friday july 12th buzzwool fairmosa circuitry will be in raid they are region locked as well but they all will be getting a raid hour at 6 p.m on that given day and remember all of those raid bosses i just mentioned can be shiny except stack attack and blacephalon so this is kind of a good thing guys that this event is happening because on that go fest weekend there are a lot of raid bosses so it might be hard to focus specifically on one raid boss that you guys really want like a shiny of or a hundo iv of such as guzzlord you guys will be able to try for that shiny guzzlord or a hundo iv early on july 8th so it is kind of a good thing that this is happening it does just kind of suck that they are still region locked though even during this event but they shouldn't be during the go fast weekend now this event does bring out some timed research too and you guys can complete this time research to earn encounters with the following pokemon even the region locked pokemon so you guys can do this research to get encounters with neolego buzzwool pheromosa circuitry celesteela kartana guzzlord stack attack and blacephalon you could even get lucky enough to get a shiny ultra beast from that research you might get lucky but yeah you guys can get all of these it doesn't matter where you live apparently they should not be region locked in the time research so now let's talk about the event bonuses guys i had a lot of people asking me would the global go fest have a remote raid cap the answer is no guys yeah so you can do as many remote raids as you want during the go fest weekend so let's talk about it right here the remote raid pass limit will be increased to 20 from monday to thursday july 11th but there will be no limit on remote raids from friday july 12th to sunday july 14th and that sunday is the last day of the global go fest event so there will be no remote raid cap during go fest weekend big w right there i know a lot of you guys were asking me about that so now we do have complete confirmation about that and trainers level 31 and up are guaranteed to receive xl candy for trading pokemon from july 8th to july 14th at 11 59 p.m local time so at least we're getting that bonus back i think that was a season bonus last season so at least we're getting it back for a few days right there now this event does come with a timed research that you guys can buy for five us dollars of course this ticket will be available to purchase from july 8th to july 14th at 6 p.m local time and if you guys do buy this ticket you will get additional 5,000 xp from completing raids two times dust from winning ultra beast raid battles one additional candy awarded for catching pokemon in five star raids one additional candy xl for catching pokemon in five star raids and up to two 
free raid passes from spinning photo discs at gyms so you're going to get one extra daily pass per day if you guys do buy this time research and you also get some more candy rewards such as 10 cosmog candy which do remember you need cosmog candy to fuse necrozma uh five neolego xl candy and the same goes for all of the other ultra beast pokemon you're getting five xl candy for those pokemon plus 2024 stardust and one star piece and if you guys buy this ticket and the global go fest ticket which is like 15 us dollars in the shop you will get up to 10 free raid passes from spinning photo discs at gyms during the global event uh but do remember if you guys just buy the global go fest ticket you get up to nine free raid passes so you're only going to get one extra raid pass there so this ticket to me i'm not getting it i don't really think it's that worth it but i mean the xl candy if you do want to max out some of these ultra beast pokemon if you guys don't have much xl candy some of these pokemon are worthy enough to max out because some of these ultra beast pokemon are pretty good when they're maxed out like Zerkatry, uh neolego buzzwool kartana those are pretty good as raid attackers or just in the master league in pvp so let me know in the comments if you guys will be buying that timed research but also to go along with this event there will be new pokemon backgrounds too after catching certain pokemon from raid battles all trainers have a chance to receive special backgrounds these souvenir backgrounds will appear on the pokemon summary page similar to the location backgrounds that are available at like the in-person go fest event so i'm curious to see what these are going to look like i hope they look pretty good so we will see those during this event and if you guys do miss using beast balls on the ultra beast pokemon there will be a global challenge during the go fest event if the challenge is completed in time all trainers will be able to use beast balls when encountering ultra beast pokemon during the global go fest event plus once the challenge is completed party power will charge faster when attempting a raid with your party and party play until july 13th at 10 a.m local time so yeah guys early access to ultra beast pokemon raids i'm definitely down for that so i can focus on one specific pokemon on that given day and also now we do know that the go fest the global go fest does not feature a remote raid cap which i know a lot of people are going to be very happy about so comment your thoughts down below guys about this event drop a like if you enjoyed subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next one peace